card number 33 the arranger look at this look at this the arranger who is this guy who is this guy this guy's face doesn't ring a bell to me Let's check out the text. I Irving Davidson. I Irving Davidson. Let's check out the text. I Irving Davidson. Registered. Yeah, it starts the same. First paragraph is the same. Through Hoffa, same. West Corporation, same. Clint, yeah, same. Okay, they look to be the same. So let's read card number 33. I, Irving Davidson, a registered Washington lobbyist for the Teamsters and a friend of Jimmy Hoffa, I, Irving Davidson, had a vast international network of powerful connections and called himself, quote, the grease for the machinery end quote his business card read quote door opener and arranger end quote what a great title for a business card door opener and arranger among his seemingly diverse clients were the cia coca-cola fidel castro the family dictatorships of nicaragua uh, the somosas the dominican republic the through Hilos and Haiti, the Duvaliers, the oil rich Mur Murchison family of Dallas, and mafioso Carlos Mar Marcello. The, the, close, the close 20 year relationship between Davidson and Marcello ended in 1981 when the two were indicted, in, indicted, indi indicted in the wire and mail fraud case that finally snared Marcello. Davidson's acqu acquittal and the fact that he had introduced Marcello to the government sting operator who caught them suggests that he set up his mafia friend. Through Hoffa, Davidson arranged the Teamster pension uh, fund loan for the Merchantsons who shared with uh, David Davidson, a close mutual friend, J. Edgar Hoover. Davidson arranged another deal for the Merchantsons that resulted in a large, lar large payoff to then Senator Lyndon Johnson's close aide and bagman, Bobby Baker. Part of part of Baker Johnson set was bedford wayne whose law firm represented represented george the murren Schitts and the Merchantsons and controlled the great south west corporation clint Merchantson senior liked to gamble and frequented the four deuces club where he played high stakes poker with fellow gambler like H. L. Hunt, Sam Rayburn, and Lyndon Johnson. The club's owner, W. C. Kirkwood, a man with unquestionable access to Johnson, was a friend and former employer of Jack Ruby's idol, Louis J. McWilly. Just insane. Look at that smile. The arranger. Look at that smile. Arranges everything. Look at that. Dark. <laughs>